So I made a video a few months back cutting the coal springs on my car and I said I'd make a follow-up video autocrossing it to see if I could capture any ill effects. Any flaws. So for starters there's the obvious stuff like it's lower, there's less body roll, lower center of gravity. Uh, as far as actual cornering speed, cornering g-force, it doesn't really feel like that's improved at all. I think mostly in part of my tires, I think I'm pretty much at the limit of what they can do, they're pretty hard. The rear end has always stepped out really easily on this car, of course it doesn't help I drive like Ace Ventura, but I don't think the cut springs really affected that at all. One thing I did notice is the slalom was easier because of the faster weight transfer, and it feels like the stability was overall improved. Now, <laughs> it's still not stable. Uh, the weight distribution is not great, but it feels like it was slightly improved. So yeah, lowering your car improves its stability. Who knew? This is completely new information. Uh, but in reality, people look at cut springs with the hairy eyeball, they think, ah, that's garbage, which I'm not trying to pretend it isn't, because it, it really is kind of garbage. But at the end of the day, it's still a spring. It still springs. It's just shorter now. And as long as you do it correctly so that your suspension isn't bottoming out every two seconds, it's really not that bad. Subscribe. <laughs>